So, we have another round one game. We have Quick Reads going up against... Uh, I know it's different because everybody's gamer tag be different from their Twitch names and stuff. Going up against King Zavi. So Quick Reads going up against, well, going up, blah, 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 using the Seahawks, going up against the Broncos. Now Quick Reads definitely has one of the most disgusting 4-6 blitzes that uh, I've seen. So you definitely uh, have to be worried some of that. And the Seahawks have such an incredible defensive line. Uh, you know, on top, if you do so happen to pick it up, them block sheds are ridiculous. Fourth and four throws right in the coverage and that gets batted down and that gives a uh, very, very, very good positioning for uh, King Zavi who is already in field goal range. Throws a pass right there and Quick Reads makes a nice little lurk right there. Gets the ball back. The only problem with the Broncos, because they have everything you need. Great receivers, uh, an amazing defense. Peyton Manning has like an 81 throw power. Like he... It's like when he throws a pass, it's like letting go of a, a helium balloon. Like, it's so bad to watch him throw the ball. Uh, but right here, nice little read. Beautiful spin move right there by Reeds. And he ends up taking the quick 7-0 to zero lead. And uh, Reeds is definitely somebody you don't want to fall behind. Because then that's when he's able to send that pressure. Knowing you got to go on ahead and try and pass. So, uh, you definitely want to try and sustain a rushing attack. Because if you don't, you got to deal with the heat that he has, and it comes in very quick. As you can see, he's having trouble getting rid of the ball. Uh, right there, he does pick up the first down. You know, uh, you can't pick up the blitz, and when you do, he's sending so many people that even when you pick it up, um, you still have to worry about block sheds. You have to get rid of the ball quickly. It's only a matter of time. Somebody's going to come in. You know, even if you pick it up, a block shed, somebody's coming in. You know, and with these Seahawks, them block sheds are unreal. <laughs> they are unreal with Bennett and Avery on, on the ends. So Reeds ends up scoring going up 14 to 0. And at this point, um, at this point, you pretty much, you, you pretty much, uh, uh, King Zaville pretty much has to uh, commit to the pass right here. Under center, B gap, under center, blitz again. Uh, right there, it gets picked up. But like I said, that block shed comes in. He's going to go on ahead and punt the ball. And they, this gives an opportunity for Reeds to go on ahead and put the Skunk Rule in effect if he's able to go on ahead and score a touchdown against Skunk Rule. 21 plus ball. Game is over. Big run over there on the left side. And almost ends up scoring, getting shoved at the two yard line. But he does end up scoring on the QB sneak right there, going up 21 0. So, last opportunity for King right here to try and get back in the game. At this point, any score will help him out. You know, a field goal keeps him in the game, you know, because he's not able to go on ahead and uh, be down 21 with Reeds having ball. So uh, right here with McManus on the squad, he's in field goal range already, um, but he doesn't decide to go for the field goal. As we will see, he drops the ball right here. Second and 10 goes over the middle, gets stopped shy, tries to go for QB sneak. That got shut down, lost the yard. Fourth and three, decides to go for it, doesn't get it. Skunk roll in effect, he ends up losing. So that's the end of the game, fellas. I'm trying my best to go in order with these games. See you guys next video. Peace!